a fast charger made by a gas station company. The company is called Petro Canada. They do sell petrol through gas station chains, but they're coming out with fast chargers around the country. They don't really have an incentive to actually sell fast chargers. They make more money off of gas station than they do fast chargers. So I want to see if the experience is actually very good or if they're actually hindering the experience in order for more people to stay with gas cars. We're going to go there. We're going to review the payment process, review the app. Also, we're going to review how the setup is of the charger. So the app does have a lot of bad reviews. If you look on the app store, it has around 2.3 stars out of five and has a bunch of different negative reviews on it. I'm going to know for myself how the app acts and how the actual charger is. So we're just going to go there, try and pay it with the app. Apparently, uh, the app is how you're going to make the payments, but everything is set up. So I have the payment process set up. I made an account, so everything should work perfectly. And yeah, so we're going to go to the charger and just see how so it is. Charger on the map, just in case the car does decide to precondition. We are at 30%. We'll see what percentage we arrive there with conditioning. Yeah. So hopefully when we get there, the battery is at the perfect temperature. So I don't think it needs to precondition for that long, but this is not going to be a test on how fast it charges because I am not at a very, very low state of charge. I am at 30% and it's not low enough to actually get the most out of the battery. So I'm not really going to test it on that. Just going to test it on the process of actually starting the charge. We're going to go there. Hopefully we're going to have a good charge because this is a gas station company building EV chargers. We want to know if they're actually doing a good job or if see you guys when we get there and we'll see how good those chargers are. We are at the Petro Canada EV charger. So we're going to go plug in and test out I the went charger. on the app, made an account, put the payment process in. Everything is set up. So there should be no issues charging at the charger. Let's go on the app, make sure everything is set. And then from there, we'll plug it in and see how and I'm going to click on charge. It says, sorry, this location is too far away. So I'm not sure if it knows if I'm here or not. I am trying to charge it, but let me see if I can start the charge through the actual charger and maybe on the app, it's a different way to charge. Right, so I just turned on precise location for the actual charger. So we're on the exact location of this charger. So it should know that we're here. Let's see if it works this time. All right. So this time it actually works. Right, so, so it does look like we're at charger one. So we're going to start charger one. All right, so I heard something click. So I'll just confirm and pay. All right, so it says authorizing. Nothing on the screen right now. Everything is on the phone app. All right, so now it says we can plug in. So let's take it and plug it in. So we take this, plug it in here. Again, CCS cables are extremely... Uh, all right. This cable is extremely heavy and I don't know if it actually plugged in perfectly. I don't think so. Let's try again. All right, so it still doesn't look like it's fully plugged in. It says, shows white here. So what I'll do is actually put the adapter on the cable and then from there, plug it into the car. All right, so I took the adapter off, put it straight on the cable and then from there, plug it into the car. That was a lot better than trying to plug in the cable through the adapter. It's still blue though. All right, so I think here I just have to confirm. Okay, so these are just terms and conditions. Let's see if I should just pay directly because the app looks like it's glitched out. So I'll close the app and open it again. All right, so it does look like, yeah, it does look like the app is actually bugged out. All right, so it does have an error message. It says, oops, something went wrong. So I'll just cancel it out, start the charge again. So I'll try again. Yeah, it does look like the app is not actually working. I'm clicking try again, nothing is happening. I'm trying to find a new station, but it says no stations nearby. Precise location is on. 
it just looked like the app just completely glitched out. I'll close the app and open it again and the screen completely glitched out. So I think the best thing to do is to remove the cable. All right, so the charger appeared again. So let me try again. All right, so this is not as smooth as I want it to be. Clicking charge, it's not working. Yeah, it does look like the app is just, it's just at its limit. It says one char one charger in use, maybe because I'm plugged in, but it's not actually charging. So what I'll do is unplug the car. All right, unplug it and replug it back in and see if that works. All right, so I gave up on the app. The app is simply just not working. I'm pressing charge, it's not working. I'm clicking on charge over here, it's not working. So what I'll do is actually try and make the payment straight on the screen. So they do have a payment here. So I'll try and use my actual Apple Pay and see if it works. But the app is actually not starting the charge. I closed the app and opened it again multiple times and it does seem that there's a problem with the app. So I'll go again, see connection lost, click on the charger, start a charge. Okay, now it turns on. So I'll give the app one more try. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, then I'll give up and use the actual charger to pay for it. All right, so now it says authorizing. So let's go get the charger and plug it in again. All right, so I think that time it actually worked. It did take us a three tries with the app, but now the cable is actually pretty loud and it is kicking. So let's go in here and see what we have so right now we're still at zero kilowatts sync 35 minutes let's pick up the pace the limit is at a hundred percent so the time here will be based at reaching a hundred percent so we're at 38 kilowatts 46 we should be over a hundred because right now we're at 26 percent so 66 so it's showing the kilowatt speed over here I love that it's showing the actual cost. So this is actually perfect because the Kustach charger didn't actually show the cost on the screen. And obviously Tesla cannot put the cost on the screen because this is not a Tesla supercharger. So the fact that they're putting the cost here is actually pretty great. Only been here a minute and the cost is 50 cents already. We are over hundred kilowatts, one minute and 1.2 kilowatt hours. So we are at 122 kilowatts. We are going pretty fast. I'm, I'm actually happy with the charging. It's just starting the charge that was actually annoying. So starting a charge was a headache and we had to use the app for it, but the app was actually giving us problems. So we can also see the information through the app. So that's a good thing. I'm happy that we can see the information on how, how many kilowatt hours we added, how long it took, and the price, the cost is costing us so far. We can even stop the charge from the app. So that's amazing. We're seeing the percentage. The percentage on the phone or on the charger does not reflect the percentage in the car. So the app doesn't update in real time. It just got a crazy update right now. So I went from 30 to 34%, delivered 4.6 kilowatt hours and three minutes charging and cost us $1. So it does look like the app does update, but not as fast as real time like the Tesla does. So it says here on the bottom, this screen is updated every minute. So it is good to have the information here because some cars don't actually show the information, but I would prefer it to be more in real time. So the charging was actually pretty good. The actual starting of the charge is the problem. And I feel like they should really simplify it by maybe having a membership card that you have money into. You just tap it and it charges because the app has a lot of work to be done. They should probably look towards eliminating the need to use of the app and just use a card, a membership card or something of the sort. So that would be the best thing is to use a membership card instead of using a uh, app to actually start a charge. Yes, you can pay through the, the actual charger, but most people will have the app ready to go, especially in the winter. You don't want to come out and start paying for a charger in the cold. You will want to do it in your car through the phone and then you just plug it in outside. So we're gonna unplug and yeah, we're gonna recoup and talk about what happened today at the actual Yeah, charge. it does look like the charger are actually pretty decent. They're not that bad. The cables are huge. The screen is actually responsive. The issue relies 
on the app. The need to use the app is actually pretty bad. The app sometimes don't even know if you're at the charger. The app can start the charge. The thing I like about the app is that it does give you the charging information on the phone. So it gives you the kilowatt hours, it gives you the kilowatt speed, it gives you the cost so far, it gives you how long you've been charging. Although it does update every minute, I would like it to maybe update every 30 seconds or every 20 seconds so we can get faster information. At least it does give you the information because some cars don't even give you the information. I'm actually surprised Petro Canada don't have any incentive to actually make their charges any good. The only thing that they need to work on is really the app. And once the app is fixed, then they won't have any other issues. The only thing is there's only two charges over here. Once there's two cars here, the charges are, are already full. So you would want to have more chargers laid out. With the expansion of the actual Petro Canada EV charging network, you might have more charges at each destination. Yeah, the app needs some work. The chargers are decent. They just need to lay out more chargers. So yeah, that's basically it. So see you guys on the next video. Peace.